Live from the Fox 5 Studios in Atlanta, you're watching Good Day Extra. Well, if you love sugar and, uh, let's face it, who doesn't, our next guest may have a healthy natural substitute that won't leave you wanting the real thing. Chef and uh, CEO Stephen Richards joins us with Zagave, which could be just what you're looking for. Right. Thanks and I know that. it was what you were looking for because you come from a family of, what, diabetics, right? I do. I have diabetes on both sides of my family. So you got to watch it. That's absolutely. And our family struggles with our weight. So I was always looking for ways to cut calories and eat a little bit healthier. And several years ago, I was introduced to agave, generally. And uh, Now, this is what this is what tequila is made of. That is, that's correct. Most I mean, people, most this isn't going to get you right. drunk, but right. I mean... <laughs> right. No, this is absolutely not fermented. Okay. And it's a sweetener. And, and really what they found the benefit to be is that it's a low glycemic sweetener so it doesn't spike your blood sugar level which is a big thing nowadays absolutely if you look at every diet from the early 90s atkins south beach nutrisystems i don't care what you call it they're all low glycemic what index. is the what, what is it with the glycemic the, the glycemic index measures your blood sugar level response to carbohydrates when you consume them how quickly that uh, carbohydrate turns to energy in your in your bloodstream so when you eat all the carbs or the sugar you get that you, you kind of get the boost yeah, and you get all the, of a sudden you get the boost and, and actually with, if you're Armstrong and you're pedaling your bike and right. burning 10,000 calories a day, you eat a Snickers bar and you need that energy, it's immediately consumed. But if you're like the rest of us and you're sitting at your desk and you eat that Snickers bar, you get the energy spike and you're not burning the energy, what happens? And then you're, it, well, yeah, and then you It goes into storing right. fat and you get kind of lethargic. Right. And so really, everybody's recommending that everybody should be on a low glycemic diet. Okay, so this stuff, one, one thing great about it is you can substitute for this for bacon, right? Right. So this is uh, Zagabi Nectar, and again, ours is a unique blend of the blue and the white agave and it's got inulin of fiber in it that's very good for you which allows you to bake most people that are familiar with agave know it because they sweeten their coffee tea and down here in the south of course sweet tea is a big thing <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but what most people don't realize you can actually cook can and bake with it and so we have some muffins taste one? yeah these are these are called granola bar muffins and okay. all these recipes by the way are in our cookbook and uh, that's only about 200 calories and it's loaded with fiber. There's no oh, wow. white sugar, no mm -hmm. no flour in that uh, at all. Isn't that absolutely delicious? absolutely delicious? Two of those in the morning are great. This is a jam. Let's show people how to do the, the music. You, you want to do the music? Yeah, because okay. we only have a, a minute here. Yeah. All right, this is just from Kroger, just some plain yogurt. And again, I'm going to sweeten it with about this a really quarter of a cup mm -hmm. of zagave. By, by sweetening your plain yogurt yourself, you're uh, saving about 50 to 80 calories per eight ounces, and I know we're hurried on time, so what I'm gonna do is just okay. throw this in here a little bit before it's completely mixed. That's all right. And uh, to show you how easy it is to make something, I'm gonna throw some oats in here to make Swiss muesli. Mm -hmm. And I'll just stir those in, and they'll immediately, uh, you know, be consumable. You don't have to worry about cooking them. And this isn't going to look as good as it could look in the morning if you do it yourself. But throw some berries and get your antioxidants, so you have your pre. It all goes in your stomach. So. All goes in your stomach. Good. If <laughs> you want to try that, I mean, you're going to be surprised at how great that tastes. Plain yogurt by itself isn't uh, isn't the greatest. Isn't that a wonderful flavor? Oh, fantastic! Yeah. That's great. Great, great, great breakfast. No, no reason not to have breakfast anymore in the morning. Everybody's hungry. Can they come over and jump on this? Uh, well, yeah, you can go to Kroger and pick some up, and we'll have some of this after. And uh, I'd also like to thank Cook's Warehouse for letting me prepare all this at their kitchen. They do have cooking classes on how to use the product at their well, stores you. as well. It's so. it's a very uh, a wonderful tasting product. Thank you. And, uh, Appreciate it. It really is. I hope it uh, does well for you. Hey, Chef uh, Stevens' book, Delicious Meats Nutritious, is out now. And it can be found in Kroger stores. We'll have more info on myfoxatlanta.com under the Good Day tab. Zagave, go check it out.